Good morning, it's Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. And we're looking at today's devotional from marmsyee.com, broken by our brokenness, based on Jeremiah 8, 18 to 9, 2. Let's read it together, shall we? My joy has flown away. Grief has settled on me. My heart is sick. Notice, listen, the cry of my dear people from a faraway land. Is Yahweh no longer in Zion, her king not within her? Why have they provoked me with their carved images, with their temporary foreign idols? Harvest has passed, summer has ended, but we have not been delivered. I'm broken by the brokenness of my dear people. I mourn, horror has taken hold of me. Is there no medicine in Gilead? Is there no physician there? So why has the healing of my dear people not come about? If my head were a flowing spring, my eyes a fountain of tears, I would weep day and night over the victims among my dear people. If only I had a traveler's lodging place in the open country, I would abandon my people and depart from, there, from them because they are all adulterers, a solemn assembly of traitors. My comment on today's text is that Jeremiah weeps because he's reflecting the sorrow of God, the mourning of the Lord who sits alone in an empty field and the harvest has passed and there's been no deliverance. Yes, this is the same God who sent the foreign invaders to devour his people from the land, but that does not change the fact that God is broken by their brokenness. He mourns their loss. He's horrified by their situation. We serve a God who embraces the shame of our brokenness. Our Lord Jesus showed us that, that by breaking the bread after he told us that it represents his body. He knows the brokenness that sin creates and he has taken that brokenness upon himself so that we can be healed. His pure body was broken because ours were tainted and are tainted with sin. Thank you, Lord, for being broken by our brokenness, for making a way of healing for us through the cross. May you have a great day today. God bless you.